everybody and welcome back to the Canning Nana. Today we're going to make homemade meatballs and we're going to show you the ingredients and step by step how to do this and fry them as well as homemade spaghetti sauce coming soon. So here you'll see I have parsley. This is my homemade Italian seasoning. Here I have uh, four pounds of ground beef. So I have three pounds, or two pounds of the 15% uh, fat and one pound, or two pounds of the 7% um, fat. You want lean and really good uh, sirloin, ch uh, gram sirloin. We have 18 eggs. <clears throat> I don't know how many I'm going to use yet. We have our uh, breadcrumbs, and we have extra breadcrumbs if we need them. I'm going to put garlic garni in it. Uh, Lari's seasoning salt, some regular pepper, and uh, some fresh garlic as well. So what you do is you get mix all your ground beef together and you put in your uh, breadcrumbs and you mix that together. I'm only one-handed so I can't show you exactly how I'm going to do this, but um, you add your seasonings you chop the parsley finely, add chopped parsley, the um, Italian seasonings, and then you add eggs. And you want it to be um, a, a wet consistency. So you want the meatballs to be wet so that you can form them into meatballs. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So here I went ahead and I added the breadcrumbs, the eggs, the seasoning, the parsley, some uh, minced garlic. We don't have any fresh garlic, so we're, we're using the freshest we can get. And um, put it into this bowl. That's the ground beef on the bottom. And now I'm just going to use my hands and mix it all together. And then as it, you, you're going to get a drier consistency. And you add eggs until it's all mixed together and bound, all the, all the ingredients. And uh, it, but you want a wet cons consistency, and I will show you that after I'm done. Here is how we mix the ingredients together. You want them a wet consistency until they don't stick on your hands, and you want to wet your hands when you're forming the meatballs. So you want them moist. In fact, this needs another egg still. And I will show you how to form the meatballs in just a little bit. Okay, so to form the meatballs, you dip your hands in water. And you roll them around like this until you've got a flat shape. And you add it to the pile. Like that. And that's what they should look like when they're done. Then we'll go fry them. Starting the homemade spaghetti sauce. I have added to this pot, let's get over here, one can of tomato paste, number 10 cans is what I'm adding, and a can of crushed tomatoes. And on top of that is my Italian seasoning, the garlic, the garlic garni, some parsley, fresh cut parsley, uh, seasoning salt, and that's it. And you just add uh, a can and a half, a number, ha number 10 can and a half of water, put it in there and mix together and then simmer for about, oh, about five to six hours. And I'm going to be adding the meatballs once I fry those up into the pot with the sauce. And I'll show you how to fry the meatballs in just a minute. Meatballs. And you do it on both sides until they're brown. And then you put it the meatballs in your sauce. Just like that. And then you have spaghetti and homemade meatballs. Here you go. 
my air recording. I glued a rock to my feet. I popped the rock onto my feet. This is what they look like. As they're cooking. Just turn them over. You don't want to cook them all the way for putting them in your sauce. If you're going to eat them now, which I usually do, always taste them. Then you take them out, you cook them all the way through, and then you taste one and see how they came out. And you put a little bit of sauce on there too. There you go. Homemade spaghetti, sauce, and homemade meatball.